Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about seniors dropping out of the coding, the interviewing process. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why is it becoming so common for senior software developers to intentionally drop out of the hiring process if it requires a coding test? Well, uh, it's usually because in oh, it's hard to say that it's usually because but I, I've seen so much of this that it's sort of I think that I can derive the answer to this one uh, there is one thing one thing that I know for a fact is the case for quite a lot of seniors and that is that they feel that it's silly that they have to do a coding test when they've been working for so many years mm. That's what I've heard. Uh, well, I've heard quite a few seniors say things like that. Why should I have to? I mean, I've even this is hilarious. I used to work with a company where they had con they got a lot of consultants through an external firm. Now, this external firm is a consultancy firm, and you should never, ever, 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 ever trust a consultancy ever with anything related to the quality of their software developers because I can promise you that they have no fucking clue who, how good the people they have are none whatsoever if the IT companies are having problems figuring that out the consultancy knows even less because they don't even care enough to make sure that they have quality people usually and so they had this set up with this company which where they basically said that yeah we're just gonna do the code test and like screen all the people for you and here is a good software developer and I go and when I was talking to my manager back in those days I was like this is not good for us and he said, yeah, no, I know we're actually changing it so that they're going to have to do a code test that we control, so that we can check our people. And the consultancy firm kicked up a fuss and said, no, we're not going to accept that. And our, co our, um, our, like, uh, our developers don't like this and they don't want to do your code test. And I went, yeah, OK, then don't hire them. How can I trust that you know what, you're, uh, what you do when I haven't checked if you know what you do? Because there's a trust here, and the trust is the thing that is that matters in a coding interview. Like the, that's what the whole code test. That's what all of this is about. Because there is no definitive way to know that you know your stuff. Because we haven't built up a trust process where you are guaranteed that you will get a, a person into the pipeline to your hiring process that actually knows what they claim to know on the CV. Because there are no rules for it. I've worked, guys. I've worked. I've been. I've talked to so-called senior software developers who could not give me an answer to the most basic questions that you can imagine. Things that juniors, like uh, people who are literally fresh out of school, could answer. And that's, you know, sure, you're a senior on paper, but I can't use you. Which is, at the end of the day, what matters to the company. Seniority is just a way to figure out who, sort of how much to pay you and like what, sort of what I can expect from you. So so and some seniors have that into their heads. Like they seem to forget that the trust is the thing. That's why the code test is there. It's not you know because nobody believes that you have been working for twenty years something something because it doesn't matter to me as the employer if you have been working for twenty years. What matters is what you can do. That is the thing that matters. And so in a sense, I think that. This and I mean this is not just in software development. It's the same thing in many companies and industries where people who have been doing something for long seems to like the and it's pure in my opinion it's stupidity. It's down to stupidity or ignorance or something like that. Where where some people seem to believe that years spent doing something is the same thing as quality. It's not. It's not at all. It's just time spent. You can suck at your job for twenty years. You might not suck as much as you did once upon a time, but there's no guarantee for that. Quality is a very different thing. I like to do the analogy to strength training. If you lift very, very, very light weights for 20 years, you're not going to be at the same level as someone who does it for five years, but actually puts on some real resistance. It's that simple. And so that is the main reason usually why they drop out. Or I'm not going to say it's the main reason where I can confirm to you that this is the reason they do it because I've heard it quite a few times because for some reason you know being tested is not something that a lot of people want to do the other thing that I see which is I think probably the like, this is complete as I said like I've said before as data like I have no proof for this it's just based on my own observations 
The other reason is because they're not actually good. They drop out of the coding test because they they have the title senior on their CV. But in their mind, well, it's really up. It's so difficult to figure this part out because I've worked, guys. I've talked to see so-called seniors. I work with senior so-called seniors who have problems solving issues that I know for a fact that junior software developers solve. And that's not just coding related. It's like personal maturity things, things like having a meeting with other people or things like that. That's not a senior. That is like, it's just a person who has been doing coding for long enough that they don't need me to teach them what the basic tooling is. That's a mid-level developer at best with personality problems. And so the the reason why a lot of these people kind of, they go into the hiring process because, is because this communication problem. When I say a senior, what do I mean? And when you say a senior, what do you mean? And when the third person says a senior, what do you mean? It's so hard, it's nigh on impossible to definitively say that this is a senior software developer. And so senior might be a title that you have been given if you are, say, primarily doing really low-end coding coding stuff at some little agency or like you're doing WordPress or like some these time of freelancing things. And if you do that for five years, well, then technically you are applicable for using the term senior. But you have to remember that the term senior also applies to people who've been doing it for 20 years and to people who have been doing it at a national, like, rank super uh, elite, elite coding type of thing for five years as well. So the differences in what we call the senior is very, very loose. And it's sort of like saying, oh yeah, I am a, I'm a racer or a, I'm an athlete. Well, does that mean that you sort of like work out in these little like local competitions or are you competing in the Olympics? It's the same term. And that definition problem is what usually gets people because when you send the coding test to a senior software developer and they drop out when they get the coding test, it's usually either because they found some other place of work, they didn't want, as I said, they don't want to do this because they feel like it's beneath them, or they simply don't know what they claim to know. And some of them actually do it. Like I, I've, this is like the most common thing I see. Uh, honestly, I, it's actually funny because most of the people that I talk to that are so-called seniors, uh, they they get the code test right, and then when we do the personal interview, they completely crash and burn, completely. And they do so because I mean I'm not stupid. When I do an interview with a with a candidate, I ask them questions related to experiences, working, and so forth, and I know what to listen for, etc., etc. And uh, my coworkers have the same thing, because we are software developers as well. So a lot of seniors, they're not really used to having to talk or to talking to an interview who actually knows their own job as well as they do. So when they start trying to explain things, you can very clearly hear that yeah, they have sort of just stacked overflowed this, or yeah, they have like a skin deep understanding of this stuff, and I, you can't actually trust that they know what they're talking about. In many cases, they don't actually know the tools, like what how they actually work. They just know, oh, if I run this command that I have no idea where it's coming from or so forth using this special library, it does what I need. And I go, yeah, that's great, but uh, if you use this library that does the same thing, or it is the tool that is almost identical, how does that process actually work? Like what is happening? Uh, like my favorite one is: Do you have any idea how few people know what Webpack actually does? Practically no one knows it. It's like my favorite question ever to ask a front-end developer: What does Webpack do? And have them explain it because almost nobody knows it. Yet they are supposed to be like on their CV, they're like super good at it. And I'm like, cool, that's great. Anywho, so what I want you to take away from this is that usually why a senior drops out of the hiring process is either because they feel like coding tests and so forth are beneath them, uh, or they get a you know a better offer somewhere else or something like that. Uh, and in my experience, a lot of the reasons is because there is this mismatch in expectations where you say that you're a senior, but the, th the reason you call yourself a senior is because you've managed to not get fired for five years. But when I talk about the senior, or like my, you know, whoever you know is doing it, who we ha you you might have expectations that people know things that are 
above the mid level or like a junior level understanding of things it's not just about that you have done some work but you that rather that you have grown in your role as a software developer because you know if i wanted to just have someone who knows how to consume a tool and what libraries are sort of relevant then i can get a junior to do that they can learn that in one boot camp when i'm hiring a senior software developer i need someone who has the experience to not just do the job but actually understand like why some tools are better picks than other tools how they sort of work and so that they can teach other people or you know etc etc and produce strong results you have to have a more a stronger understanding uh, a more in-depth understanding of the stuff that you are doing every day and that is what a real senior software developer usually has but when you hand a code test to someone who doesn't really have that understanding it becomes very difficult for them to maneuver that situation it's uncomfortable to them and a lot of uh, people have a tendency to if something is a little bit uncomfortable or something is a little bit out of their comfort zone uh, they usually just run away or like they just try to avoid it and that is something I see a lot and the people who do make it like to the actual personal interview who kind of you know do the sheet thing and like I can be I mean I've done so many code reviews for interviews at this point guys I've seen so many of these like um, so-called senior software developers they make it through to the personal interview and then to their terror basically they get to talk to another software developer and they completely crash and burn because you can trick a person who has no coding skill into just you know you can use Stack Overflow and all these tricks to to do the code test sort of well right depending on the code test and then you can get to the interview and then you can of course as a senior you know enough tooling so that someone who knows nothing well they're gonna believe that you know your stuff but if you talk to someone who actually uses those tools as well they can hear that yeah you know the names but not much more have a great day